Hello, my name is Tu. I am a 2021 pharmacist candidate. This video is about dutizumab. It has brand name of Cardizum or Cardia. I will be going over some major patients' counseling points, drug class, and indications, its mechanism of actions, available formulation with dosing and administrations, adverse events and precautions that need to be watched out for, and some monitoring parameters. Let's begin with patients' counseling. Diltizem is used to treat high blood pressure, a stable angina which is a type of long-term chest pain, and to control some type of abnormal heartbeats. Take this drug at around the same time every day. Ask your pharmacist if you should take diltizem with or without food because instruction may vary with each product. Take a missed dose as soon as you remember. If it's close to the time for your next dose, skip the missed dose and go back to your normal schedules. Do not take more or less of it or take it more often than prescribed by your doctor. Avoid driving and doing other tasks that require your alertness until you see how these drugs affect you. Some of the common side effects that patients may experience while they are on diltizems are headache, feeling dizziness or fatigue, irritation at the injection site if it's given intravenously. Some side effects can be serious. If you experience any of the following symptoms, call your doctor immediately or get emergency medical treatment. They are including persistent slow heartbeat, experience very bad skin reaction, as known as Steven Johnson syndrome, such as red swollen, blister or peeling skin, red or irritated eyes or soreness in mouth, throat, any side of liver problem like dark urine, upset stomach, pale stool or yellowing skin. This drug belongs to the non-hydropyridine benzothiazepine class of calcium channel blockers. It is indicated for the treatment of hypertension, angina pectoris, and supraventricular tachyarrhythmias. Dutizem can also be used for controlling chronic atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter, as well as patients with pulmonary arterial hypertension. Similar to other calcium channel blocker, diltizem acts by inhibiting the transmembrane influx of calcium ions into cardiac muscle and vascular smooth muscle cells during depolarization. The inhibition of calcium flux causes arterial vasodilation and decreases cardiac work and oxygen consumption. Unlike other calcium channel blockers, diltizem has also decreased the rate of sinus node pacemaker and slows down atrial ventricular or AV conduction that is accounting for its effects on supraventricular tachyarrhythmias. Oral formulation of diltizem comes with capsule or tablet. This medication is also available in solution form for purpose of intravenous injections. Dosing and administration of this drug is differently depends on its indication. For high blood pressure, initial dose is 60 to 120 mg by mouth twice a day, and it could be titrated up to 240 to 350 mg per day in two divided doses. Extended release formulation also be used for hypertension with initial dose of 120 to 240 mg once a day, or up to 360 mg by mouth once a day. For the treatment of atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter acute rate control, it starts off with 0.25 mg per kilogram for actual body weight, intravenously bolus over 2 minutes. It may repeat in 15 minutes with a dose of 0.35 mg per kilogram over 2 minutes. It may follow with continuous infusion at 10 mg per hour, range from 5 to 15 mg per hour for up to 4, 24 hours infusion. For atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter chronic rate control, initial dose is 30 mg by mouth four times a day as immediate release or up to 120 to 480 mg per day in three or four divided doses. Extended release formulation use 120 mg initially once a day and then up to 120 to 480 mg by mouth once a day. Lastly, for pulmonary arterial hypertension, Initial doses is 120 mg by mouth once a day and can be used up to 240 to 720 mg by mouth once a day. There is no dosing adjustment necessary for patients with either renal impairment or hepatic impairment. 
patient who is stable at 120 to 360 mg of immediate release diltiazem may be switched to the long acting formulation with the same daily dose given in 1 to 2 divided doses. Transition from IV infusion to oral diltiazem is also appropriate. Patient can be switched to oral diltiazem started approximately 1 hour prior to stopping infusion, and the oral dose conversion equation is shown below. The side effect profile of diltiazem seems quite mild. Adverse reactions tend to be infrequent and include occasional edema, minor headache, feeling fatigue or dizziness, maybe due to hypertension, relative flushing or rash because of hypersensitivity or other drug-induced skin problems. Diltiazem is also a very strong CYP3A4 inhibitor as a result. It is important to watch out for any drug interaction when combining diltiazem with other CYP3A4 inducer such as carbamazepine or rifampin or CYP3A4 inhibitor like amiodarone, macrolide antibiotics, protease inhibitors, azo antifungals, and cyclosporin. Contraindication of this drug including severe left ventricular dysfunction due to negative ionotropic effects, cardiogenic shock, second or third degree AV block, hypotension with systolic pressure of less than 90, patient with acute MI, IV administration of diltiazem concomitantly or within a few hours of the administration of IV beta blockers. Some of the precautions including avoid drinking grapefruit juice, avoid use in heart failure patients with reduced ejection fraction of less than 40% due to lack of benefit and worse outcomes with calcium channel blockers in general. Use diltiazem precautiously with hepatic impairment or renal impairment patients. Some monitoring parameters are kidney function, liver function tests, blood pressure, electrocardiogram, and heart rate.